That's good, isn't it? Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. All right, we have something that's very, very exciting and very unusual to share with you today. I'm going to need you to pay full attention. You guys, right from that top, from top corner, all the way to here, all of you sitting on the floor, you're going to give me 20 minutes to really try and understand what it is that we're offering because it's not for everybody and I don't know who it is. You get it? It might be for you, but it may not be. I don't know who it is out there who is experiencing what it is that we are going to be sharing with you today. That's what we have to discover. So it's for a few of you. But you're going to have to pay real attention. I can tell you straight off, you disqualify yourself immediately if you are messing around in here. We'll just ask you to leave. You can go do your break. That's fine. We're really only looking for a handful of people. So with your permission, can we begin? Yes. Oh, we're happy. We understand each other. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, here, here you can see on this board here. Where is this? Let it go. Why not me? Why not me what? Why not me what? What are you talking about? Huh? Why not me? You see, a long time ago, about yo, nearly 30 years, I was in grade 9. You're not there yet. You're getting there. You agree. I had given up on school completely. I hated it. I didn't want it. I didn't understand it. I was fighting with the teachers, the teachers were fighting with me, the principal didn't like me, I didn't like him either. It just wasn't working out. And I got a label, I don't know if you can see this, but do you see that thing on his head here? My label was stupid. In fact, I was the most stupid child in the whole school. So in grade 9, the principal walked into the classroom one day and he sat there for an hour. And he was watching everybody. I didn't realize he came to watch me. Because he was looking for an excuse to kick me out of the school. Because I, was, I didn't really care much. And I wasn't paying attention. At the end of the lesson, he called me out and he said, Greg, come here. What did that teacher say? He said, I don't know. He said, you've been here. I've been watching you for an hour. What did your teacher teach you in the session? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He said, do me a favor, pick up your bags and go. We don't want you in the school. You're not interested. You mess it up for everybody else. Just leave. He didn't even write. He didn't phone my parents. He just told me, pick up my bags and go. And I want to tell you, as stupid as I was then, I was only too happy to be. I didn't realize how important education is and what I was receiving at the school. But when I got home, my parents gave me a good lesson. They were not so happy with the decision. It took six months to find another school to put me into. Can you imagine? And I had this label on my head here called stupid. I don't know if you know, but with that label comes a big fat grin that you carry on your face. And everything's okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, I haven't seen it being so good when people go out to prize giving. There's not one cup or one certificate for Mr. Stupid. Have you noticed? Nobody gives prizes to Mr. Stupid. Well, inside, finally, and thank God it happened, something turned ahead, around in my brain. And the young man came, came to me and he said, listen, he saw what was going on. He looked further than just the outside, what the other school did. He looked inside my soul, my soul. He looked inside my brain and he said, you know what, I can help you. If you will work hard, if you will put your effort into this, I will teach you to become a genius. Do you think it's possible? When he started, and every Wednesday he came to my house and we learned and learned and learned, and he switched my brain on. And this is what he gave me. Where is this thing? Keep running away. Oh, there we go. Stupid plus mental maths. I'm going to tell you what it is plus learning skills, turns one into a genius. So I don't care, I don't think any of you were as stupid as I was, and that's fine, but I don't care where you are right now, I'm going to demonstrate stuff to you, 
They, they bring the white cord, not yet. Okay, we'll have to do it without the white cord. I will demonstrate stuff to, to show you that even a stupid brain can become a genius. Can I just see a show of hands? Is there anybody, now listen, don't just put your hands up, think. Is there anybody here who would like to improve their ability to think and uh, reason and who would like to become more of a genius than what you're already? Is there anybody? Put your hand up. Oh my word. Okay, I'll tell you what will be easier. Those who don't want to become a genius, put your hands down, put your hands down. I wonder what's going to put your hands up because you look very stupid. Right? <laughs> okay, so you understand what I'm saying? So let's see if this is true. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions and if you've got the answer, you shout it out as loud as you can. Is that fair? Alright, let's start. We're going to start in the beginning. Two times two.
There we go. The first prize, 5,000. Second prize, 3,000. Third prize, 1,500. But that's at the national, a provincial. That's at the end of the year. So we're going to do the school one. Then we're going to do the inter-school one. And then we're going to do the provincial one. But along the way, there's other prizes, but this is what you're shooting for. And everybody can win. It doesn't matter how clever that person is, you can beat them. By the way, when you finish teaching me how to do maths, I came first in the school in a trick. Can you believe it? I'm first at 91.5%. Anybody can do it if you talk. So here's my big question. Do not raise your hand unless you're really, really serious. Okay. Who here you see in a very small way what we're doing? Who here would like to learn and compete in the competition? Please put your hands up. Okay. Of story, we close in the, the um, applications. 